Hello, I'm Robin Mills and welcome to The Difference TV. I'm here today with Limor Babai and she's going to speak to us about bliss. I'd like some bliss. Where have you come from to step into this world of bliss? Well, Robin, I was originally an investment banker. I wasn't born an investment banker, mind you, but I, as an adult, I became an investment banker. And what I experienced was stress. And that accumulation of stress caused me to have a, a period in my life of deep despair, depression, and burnout. And someone said to me, you should try Vedic meditation. And I tried other meditation techniques, you know, concentration techniques and visualization techniques. Yeah. Uh, this wasn't that. And I tried also contemplation techniques, contemplating the meaning of something. This was a transcending technique uh, yeah. where you transcend a thought and arrived at a place of silence and bliss. And so within a short period of time of doing this, I started to feel more blissful in my life. And the effect of the technique had such a transformational effect on me that five years ago I became a teacher and I now teach the technique full time so that others can have the same blissful experience that I've had. So in the um, Ayurvedic, is that how you say it? Vedic. Vedic, Vedic. technique. How can that um, influence the world? What would you bring to the world from that? The way it can influence the world is by removing stress. So basically, you know, stress is not a situation. Stress is not a challenge, it's not a demand, it's not a pressure, it's not a responsibility, it's a reaction. And what happens through meditation, you know, everybody has the ability to quieten their mind and move from the field of thinking to the field of being yes. and experience yes. transcendence. And that's the experience of bliss. And when we have that experience, what it gives us is it gives us immunity to stress reactivity. So rather than reacting to a stress or a situation, we interact. And so by doing that, we, we have a more blissful life and we're able to meet our demands and we're able to adapt to change. So in that way, do you think that you're helping people relieve themselves from suffering? Yes, I yeah. am helping people to relieve themselves from suffering. And I first relieved my own suffering. And the way you relieve suffering basically is by experiencing that state. Inside everyone, there's a treasure chest of happiness, peace, and well-being. Yeah, and yeah, meditation like that. is the key that unlocks that treasure chest and allows us to have that experience of bliss and silence and thereby remove suffering. So that what it does is it basically causes the mind to, to get to a state of silence that lies beyond the, the background static of thinking, unfulfilled hopes and desires. Wow, that certainly sounds like a lot of concepts in one sentence. So for someone like um, me and someone like everyone that's listening, how would we, we step into this and how would we know when we had it? Well, you just need to trigger the experience and there's obviously a course of instruction that you would take. And when you have the experience, it's an experience of pure silence. So you, you de-excite the mind, de-excite, de-excite and arrive at a state of silence. And having the thought, here I am, then you're no longer there. And obviously I teach you how to get back to that state. But what happens is when you have that experience of bliss, when you come out of it, it makes life more blissful in every way. So bliss isn't ecstasy or excitation. It's our own simplest form of awareness. It's a state of supreme inner contentedness. And so by having that state, when we come out, we feel more fulfilled. Because Robin, you see, fulfillment isn't out there. You know, it's yeah. not in relationships. Yeah. It's not in possessions. It's not in acquisition of knowledge. No. Fulfillment no. is within. And so yeah. by having that state, that makes us feel more and more fulfilled inside and so we relieve suffering. So it sounds to me like you're onto something that could bring world peace. Yeah, it can because the reason we say that it can bring world peace is because the individual is the unit of world peace. And so if you want a forest of green trees, you've got to start planting individual green trees. And so a peaceful yeah. world is a world of peaceful individuals. And you know, at the end of every day, every individual through their responses to demands is either a net contributor of stress in the atmosphere or a net contributor to harmony in the atmosphere. And when we review the news of the day, it becomes obvious that the world would benefit from more individuals contributing harmony. And so yeah. what we do when we meditate is because we have um, adaptive responses to change, change that's inevitable, to demands, to responsibilities, yeah. to yeah. challenges, we promote harmonious social interactions. And so we're making an individual contribution to world peace. So truly when we experience each day and you know, as we all well know, things can go wrong so easily, can't they? You know, we could run out of batteries for something that was really important or 
you know, how, how then do we move beyond that and allow us to be part of this world and part of the peace and part of this humanity that we belong to? Well, the, the good news is that we don't have to try. It's almost like when we access that state of bliss twice a day, which is what we do for 20 minutes twice a day, when we come out, we just naturally don't have these stress reactions. So, you know, if I'm in a traffic jam and my mobile phone stops working, rather than having a stress reaction, I can laugh about it. And so I naturally have that response. It's not that I'm making a mood about being a bliss bunny or being stress-free. Yeah. I'm just naturally, yeah. you know, when change comes, rather than getting angry or reacting, I'm just naturally more even and more, you know, equanimous about change. Thank you, Limo. Wouldn't you like to use bliss to help you live the difference that you're here to make? I'm Robin Mills from The Difference TV, opening humanity's heart. Live your difference. www.thedifference.tv